Hello friends. Welcome back to the channel. This is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. I'm going to do another review for you here in my backyard. And it's noisy. So I have to apologize for all the background noise. I'll try to get through this. They're building an apartment complex a block over that way and construction vehicles and just everything going on. I wanted to revisit this Echo Flow River Pro that I got about a year ago and I've been using it a lot. You've seen it in other videos where I use it. And kind of just refresh that, let you know what I think about after a year of using it. And the folks were kind enough to send me this portable, foldable, 220 watt solar panel to charge this with. So I'll go over this as well, let you know what I think about it. This is really hard to do outside in the sun. <laughs> Hopefully I can do some good here. This is it. This is all the size it is. 720 watt hours. I can add a small battery. They sell a, a external pack, basically an extra battery for it, to where I could have 1440 watt hours. If I could afford it, I'd buy one. But let me turn it on and show you if you can see this. Um, While well, I'm only at 15%, I've been using the crap out of it and not uh, recharging it. I haven't charged this thing for a month probably. So, what we've got here, you got a light, a reset button, USB C. Two USB A's, a fast charging USB A, a cigarette lighter adapter, 12 volt, bleh, that you could use. Two 12 volt barrel adapters, and everything gets turned on individually. Um, this side has three AC outlets, 120. This will run up to a 600 watt device. It'll run up to 1200 with extreme technology, but it's a little different. I, You know how I do reviews. I don't get into all the technical aspects. I don't tell you how much it weighs, how big it is, all the... They have a website that gives you all that information if you understand it, because I don't. Okay. Continuing on, this is the charging side, and you can have, plug it into the wall, once your power comes back on, you can plug it in the wall and recharge it, or you can charge it with the cigarette lighter adapter, the 12 volt in your car, or solar panels, you can hook up solar panels to this, everything, <laughs> I love this thing. And you get a box, I mean, all the accessories, I don't have to take them out of the box. You get the MC4 cables to plug in, you get the cigarette adapter, you get the AC adapter. All of those devices you get. So, you don't have to buy anything extra when you get this. And what's really nice is, they give you that MC4, I may as well take that out because I'm going to hook it up. I may as well charge it while it's out here. Um... This for your soul. Um, I don't know if you can see or not. You got other stuff in there. <laughs> All right. Regular MC4 connections. Some of these power stations and their their solar panel. You know the way they do that. It's proprietary stuff. I can use any 200 watt solar panels and charge this. You don't have to have the setup from EchoFlow. I've got, on my van, I bought ladder racks to mount 200 watts of solar on top of the van as I convert it into a camper van. So I can use that to charge it if I want to. Um, one of the things this does with the van, if I want to park in the shade, which hopefully I will, once I'm in the shade, my solar panels aren't going to do a lot of good on the roof. But these solar panels, I can stick out in the sun and run over and plug them in and charge both this 
and my battery bank in the van. How about that, folks? <laughs> um, but yeah, 720 watt hours. I have used it for a year. I love it. So let me move on to the new and exciting stuff. This is EcoFlow's folding solar panel system. 220 watts on the front side, 155 watts on the back side. These are bifacial solar panels, which means they will collect the sun from the front and any sun that's reflected onto the back. 155 watts on the back potential, 220 watts on the front. Awesome. You will never get that much out of solar panels. And one of the really nice things about this case that it comes in, so it's own case, is this becomes a stand for the solar. See that? It's not flexible. It doesn't fold up. And you can see there's a little bit of grass on these. I've tested this out. I've tried it out so I know what I'm talking about. And I don't look like a complete idiot trying to set it up for the first time. But let me pull these out. I'm sure until you get used to it, it's a bit cumbersome. These are the cables. This is the front side. This is the back side. Hard to tell the difference, but there is a difference. So let me get these things. I'm going to try to set this camera up to where you can see as I unfold them how they work. And I'm going to have to turn around because the sun is behind me. And I do want to test them out charging. So let me get set up. I'm just going to move the camera and you can watch me. I'm not going to be talking while I do this. These carabiners you get because they will hook into these straps and then hook into the top of the solar panels to hold them up at the angle that you need for the sun. They supply the carabiners. So let me move the camera and see what I can come up with. All right, so here we get an idea of how they look, or supposed to look, set up. And as they, they're in the sun and they warm up, they, they get more pliable and you, they will be straight across. Right now they're still, you know, just out of package. But that's a good angle for them. And I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do now is hook up the River Pro and we'll look and see how much energy I'm getting in. It's not a perfectly clear sky. You can see clouds and it's overcast. But we should be all right. Let me uh, put the Echo Flow underneath it, behind it, <laughs> and I'll plug it in. And we'll see what we get. Alright, so now you're down here with me. I'm going to plug this thing in. And I'm so close, I don't even have to take the panels out of there, the plugs out of the little holders up here. I've got a negative and a positive MC4 connector. I'm going to connect these in. Maybe. Alright, so this is plugged into the solar panels. 
maybe plug it into the I don't know what they call this E60 or something anyway it's gonna plug into the side here Gonna turn it on and we have I hope you can see that I'm gonna go get my phone and try it hang on all right again this is my final setup you can see how the Sun is hitting it and that's my MC4 connections now I don't have them stretched out or anything because my River Pro is just right behind it but this will go I don't know about five or six feet so I could have this sitting on a table, the Echo Flow sitting on a table with my laptop plugged into it while these panels are out in the sun providing me energy. So let me see if I can get down here and see how much we have coming in. This is hard to do with my Sony. All right, we can see now 150 watts coming in. Uh, it's gonna take about four hours to fully charge it I mean it's fluctuating because we do have a little bit of cloud cover and I, I love it I think this is fantastic now it's a bit cumbersome setting them up for the first few times um, you know one person but this is great And 160 watts, I'm happy. There's 167, I'm really happy getting that much under these conditions. And what you have to remember, no panel is gonna give you what it, you know, you get 220 watts, you will get that for a moment <laughs> when everything is absolutely perfect. You know, and as these panels, warm up in the sun they'll get more pliable they'll get flatter and they'll be able to bring in more but yeah I am really happy with this setup all right folks in closing I love this setup I really do I'm I really like it I think it's the perfect solution and there's so many different ways to approach using it you know uh, it will augment the power I have out at the cabin it will be the power solution for my camper van I no longer have to worry about you know solar panels the charge controller the inverters the battery bank the fuses all the wiring it's all right there you know and I can plug it in while I'm driving if we stop somewhere and eat dinner, I can plug it in. Well, that thing will recharge in two hours. You see it sitting out here just in the sun. It's going to be fully charged in four hours or less. If the sun's kind of high behind clouds now. I'm not getting a whole lot. And that's the problem with depending on these to run your house during a power outage. That's the problem. I hope you're not hearing it. Freaking horn. Somebody's car alarm going off. Uh... <laughs> can't wait to get out of this town I uh, swear to God I can't wait but yeah now is it cheap no this is not cheap at all that that echo flow is around $550 uh, the folding solar panels are $650 so and but you have to look at it the fact that that's if I put by the other battery pack the to you know plug into it and have 1440 watt hours available that's about what I have in my solar system at the cabin right it was two thousand dollars a little over two thousand dollars I spent putting that system together at the cabin that's not portable I can't fold that up and take it with me and I have all of those components I had to buy and figure out how to work this, this is your entry into solar. You could look at it that way as well. Um, 
so this was a good experiment good review I like it I recommend it uh, I'm gonna put a link in my description if you go to echo flow you get a some kind of a discount right now they're having prime day sales on Amazon their stuff is like because they're also doing it on their site they got some of their stuff like 40 45 percent off you know and echo flow makes big ones I mean 4,000 watt 5,000 watt things uh, monsters <laughs> that I can't afford that I would stab to get but this will do me just fine I don't need to you know I've got my 4,000 watt generator I got the tack life generator I got another one of these power banks not as big but I got another power bank that I can charge with solar so we're pretty much set up you want to get set up for these rolling blackouts coming look into this kind of stuff you know it's clean you, you, there's no gasoline involved no oil involved you can plug it in inside you don't have to have it outside and it will keep stuff running for you um, but yeah this is it hope y'all appreciate this uh, remember to like share comment go check out their website echo flow good stuff um, it's priced a lot less than these big name ones that sell you the same thing but like I said these are MC4 connections for solar you know they're not proprietary to anything I've got a couple of extra 100 watt solar panels in the shed here I'm, I'm going to use on my van. I could pull those out and plug them in right now and be charging the same as that portable one. So anything will work it. And those I could plug in at the cabin <laughs> and charge my battery bank. If, I, if something happened to my solar panels at the, batter, at the cabin, I could use that to charge them. Take a lot longer, but I could do it. So... Good stuff. Appreciate you all watching. I'm out.